All right, so for this Quark Evolution video, we're doing another request from you guys by covering Big Diabetes Sugar Boy, Rikido Sato, whose name is honestly one I couldn't have really remembered without looking it up. Which of course makes him absolutely perfect for this series because honing in on lesser focused characters is exactly what we do here. But yeah, Sato's quirk is an emitter type called Sugar Rush. And with it, for every 10 grams of sugar he intakes, he's able to multiply his strength five times over for three minutes, with his muscles swelling appropriately. So I don't think it's too crazy for me to say that his quirk is pretty straightforward. Sugar equals strength. But with this simplicity comes a number of shortcomings. First of all, he completely depends on his access to sugar, and without it, he's pretty much quirkless. Then there's that three minute limitation, which means he only has so much time to go crazy, which I guess isn't so bad since it's able to stack, but at the same time, the more sugar he consumes, the slower he gets mentally, and eventually he'll just crash altogether. He's pretty much like a bodybuilder that uses sugar instead of steroids. And unfortunately, because he gets such limited screen time, we don't really know how much sugar he can consume before he starts to wear down. And if I'm being honest, despite his whole quirk being based on strength and power, he hasn't really demonstrated anything notable enough to differentiate himself from the likes of, say, Kirishima or Deku. In the past, we may have been able to say that he's more reliable than Deku's glass bones and paper skin, and harder hitting than Kirishima, but these days, I really don't know. Those two have grown exponentially since the beginning of the series, and all I know about this guy is that he's gotten better at baking cakes. And so, as it currently stands, I'd say the best way for this dude to level up would be for him to raise his upper limit of sugar consumption meaning he'd be able to intake more before slowing down mentally or physically, and he'd be able to hold on to said power boost for longer. But more than that, I feel like he most importantly needs to increase his base strength. Sato needs to become a gym rat and do absolutely everything he can to increase his lifting threshold, because by doing so, he'd be increasing the number he'd be multiplying, giving him more bang for his buck. And I also think he'd be a character that would really benefit from a dedicated fighting style. That way he's not just recklessly flailing about and is instead better able to calculate his strikes and use his limited time more efficiently. And if that sort of thing became second nature for him, even when he starts losing brain cells, he'd still be able to stay on the battlefield and be of use on some drunken fish shit. So there you have it, Tickle Me Doughboy is now a man with dough giving tickles to your girl. Hopefully you enjoyed the video because it's always a pleasure to make these and as usual, if you have a character whose quirk you'd like to see expanded upon, please let us know in the comments. Thank you all so much for watching and have an awesome day. I love you.